Thunder hosting the Nuggets, and the Thunder are one and a half point favorites. The over under two twenty nine and a half. The Nuggets plus one hundred on the money line, and the Thunder are minus one eighteen. Now these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. As far as the lineups go, it's supposed to be Murray, Pope, Porter, Gordon, and Joker, who is listed as questionable with low back pain. And then for the Thunder, it's Giddy, Alexander, Wallace, Dort, and Holmgren. And uh, Shy is listed as questionable with an illness, Dort, ankle soreness, and Holmgren ankle injury. So we get ankles and shoulders, you know, it's just a typical NBA. Lineups have not been confirmed, and the NBA is atrocious with that. They confirm, like, 40 minutes before game time if you're lucky. Now, these teams have played each other three times this year, and the road team has won every one of the games that they've played against each other. The Thunder, the Nuggets won 128-95 in OKC, and then the Thunder won the next two, 118-117 in Denver, and then 119-93 in Denver. Seemingly, they're one of the few teams that can actually beat them in Denver. Head-to-head, Denver is 6-4 against the Thunder, but the Thunder are on a two-game winning streak. The road team is on a six-game winning streak. The road team is 8-2 in their last 10 meetings against each other. Like I said, it's just one of those weird things. The underdog has won the last two games that they've played against each other. The underdog is 7-3 against the spread. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The under is hitting their last four. The under is 6-3-1, and, and the under 229 is 6-4. and four. The Nuggets are 7-3 in their last 10, 3-6-1 against the spread, and the under is 8-2. There was a total of 223 then 206, then 216, and then 220. They beat the Pacers by 5, lost by 38 to the Knicks, then beat the Sixers by 6, and the Bucks by 6. For the Thunder, they're 6-4 in their last 10, 5-5 five five against the spread, and the under is 7-3. They're on a two-game losing streak. 254, 190, 224, and then 208. Beat the Spurs by 26, beat the Pelicans by 24, then lost to the, the Pistons by six points, granted back-to-back, or the beginning of a back-to-back, and then they lost to the T-Wolves in the back-to-back by six. For whatever the reason is, like I said, the road team dominates when these two teams play each other. And if Joker plays, I've got the Nuggets the whole way. Nuggets with the money line, Nuggets getting the points, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.